Hey there, YouTube. If you're shopping the Southwire 6-in-1 stubby multi-bit screwdriver, you've come to the right place. Thanks for checking out my channel. I think you're actually going to be disappointed if you get this, unfortunately. The funniest problem about it, good luck changing the bits. I'm going to show you guys a little unboxing video here. And this is going to be pretty short because of what we're dealing with. 6-in-1, not a ton of features. But um, if this channel helps you, my videos help you please like subscribe or drop a comment below let me know what i need to be doing differently or what i'm doing well i really appreciate you guys thanks a lot we're going to cut out here to the to the next part of the video see ya this item is a slight miss i wanted to love it so let's talk about the positives it is lightweight and durable at a one inch, sorry, one and three sixteenths inch diameter. Feels good in the hand. It's not too bulky, which can tire your hands out. I actually had one commenter on my Klein videos, sorry, Klein tools, mention about the diameter being too large. So this is smaller, I confirmed that. The rubberized grip is adequate. The appearance is generally attractive. It's not amazing. It is less than three and a half inches long. That includes the bit. So it certainly qualifies as stubby. Now, like, I use this while building like solder furniture. Um, the shortness of the tool gave me better access sometimes. Um, the bit variety also it lends itself to being quite versatile. So here in the video, you see me looking at the different bits that are in it. And at the moment, you may see me also struggling to get out that quarter inch flathead. The negatives. So the ball bearing retention style bits are tight on this. They are also rather short for a barrel that's so deep. This makes bit removal troublesome. You just don't have too much to grab. This combination of problems was so bad, in fact, as you're about to see in a second, I had to get some rubber gloves to remove that quarter inch flathead bit from the barrel, seriously. So however, this tightness has somewhat loosened up since, now, like after about let's say 10 plus times removing and reinserting it, um, it's now looser, I can get it out with just my fingers. Without a swiveling bottom like you may see on some competitors tools. It does make precision work a bit tougher, but maybe you're not doing that with the stubby in the first place. So at the moment, my conclusion here, I would not recommend this product. Even with the lifetime guarantee, I suggest that you look at what other stubby multi-bit screwdrivers are out there. I hope this video helps you all out. Thank you very much for checking out my channel. See ya.